and I would stare for hours into the sun. And a hawk would eat my face. <laughs> Here's another restriction. I am not allowed to wear shorts. I'm not allowed to wear shorts. Yeah, that wasn't NBC's idea, that was my wife's request. She says my legs look like two ivory Slim Jims. With a little dusting of paprika on them. <laughs> I'm not kidding, at night, my poor wife, at night when I'm feeling a little horny, I take off my robe and I say, Come to me, my love! Come to me! Embrace the ivory spider! You liking this, ladies? This is what my wife keeps coming at her every night. Come to me, my dear! Let my long noodles embrace you! It's a freak show in our bedroom, and not in a good way. You probably don't know this about me. I am 98% leg. Look at this. I can walk across the entire island of Manhattan in like three steps. <laughs> it's wrong. Cabs falling behind me. It's crazy. You can't tell because it's an optical illusion. My waist is right here. Some of you guys have probably seen me in the urinal and take my shirt off. And... Pretty sexy stuff. What else is forbidden? What else is restricted? This is weird. Anybody who even looks like me. If you look like me, you can't be on television right now. So say goodbye to the Wendy's girl, she's gone. Say goodbye to uh, Jimmy Neutron, kids. He's gone. <laughs> and of course, say farewell to Oscar-winning actress, Tilda Swinton. so used to looking at me on TV. Oh, he says it's just horrible looking. I'm right here. I can hear everything you're saying. Wow. <laughs> Later on, I'm going to get you alone. Get these noodles around you. She just shouted chicken leg at me. Who the hell are you? Chicken leg. Chicken leg. Now I'm being heckled from, like, 1911. I say now, you old chicken legs, hey? I showed him. Now let's get him off steamroller and go home. <laughs> You're not wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> so what's been going on with me? I've learned a lot about myself the last three months. The first thing I realized, and I know I'm kind of well known for putting myself down, this is not self-deprecating wit, this is true. The first thing I realized when I had to walk away from The Tonight Show, the very next day is I realized I have no marketable skills. I mean, I have no marketable skills in the real world. Think about it, for 17 years, I developed very specific set of weird skills for a very specific kind of weird job, and then BAM! Overnight, that job was gone. So you can imagine me going to the unemployment office the next day. And the guy's there with the clipboard, and he's like, what is it you do, Mr. Blaze? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Check this out. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> so I have a bunch of jobs that match my previous salary. <laughs> they kicked me out on my ass. On my bony ass. So that video we showed up front, yeah, it's kind of a joke, but it's also true. I had some time around the house. I had time to reflect. And there are a lot of young people here, and I want to tell you something that's very important. This is what I've learned. I learned I never want to have time to reflect. Ever again. <laughs> never reflect. That's my message to you. Never take a long, hard look at your life. It's a mistake. Don't do it. Just plow through life and don't think about it much. Seriously, just put your blinders on and go and marry someone and have some kids and do whatever you gotta do. Don't reflect on your life. Because I did it. It was just 
horrible. And I'll tell you something else. You've got feelings inside that are bothering you a little bit. You feel like you want to express them verbally in a healthy way to friends around you. Don't do it. Push those feelings further down. That's what makes this country great. USA, USA. Why now? This is all horrible stuff I'm telling you. But seriously, over the past three months, uh, what, what's strange to me is that how many people we have here in this room? I'm just going to take a wild guess and say 65, 75,000 people here tonight. <laughs> I'm not good at crowd estimates. A million! But we may have as much as 250 to 400,000 people here tonight. <laughs> this is bigger than like a crazy Live Aid concert. You know, this is huge. This, yes. The Euro, and we've expanded. Did you notice? They architecturally expanded Radio City so that we could be here tonight to accommodate all these people. We've added several hundred thousand seats. But that's not my point. That's just a lie. My point is this. Everybody in this room at one point or another has lost their job, okay, or lost their gig. But it happened to you privately. What happened to me was very public. And I'm cool with that. That's just what happened. That's the business I'm in. But what was strange is that because it was so public, Everywhere I go in the last three, four months, people just come up to me. If I'm at an ATM, if I'm at a sub shop, <laughs> I'm just trying to relate, man. <laughs> we all know I don't go outside. <laughs> if my butler brings me some flan, no, I'm just... <laughs> so stupid. But anyway, my point is this. I will be walking around, I walk around, I'll be pumping gas, I'll be doing something, and people just walk right up to me and ask me. They'll come up to me and be like, hey man. This is like if Chi Chi Chong come up to me. Like, oh, Chi Chi Chong is incredible. Like, hey man, how's your mind? How's your mental state, man? How you doing? I'm like, okay, hippies, I'll tell you. 